Hey, what's up guys? I'm Steve and welcome to my world. Today we have something new for you. We have a gift that Abby got for Christmas. She had actually got four of these things and we've not seen them before. Santa was very kind to her and brought her these. But this is some sort of Lego kit. And what we have here today is a Star Wars kit. It says build your own adventure. It's the battle for the stolen crystals. It includes the bricks to build four different models. It comes with two minifigures and all the bricks we need. You can see some of the bricks up here in the corner. And down here it says what's inside. It says a Commander Gree minifigure, Commando Droid minifigure, a playmat, building ideas book, bricks to build four pairs of models in turn, a sticker sheet, and two exclusive extra build ideas. So there's what the side looks like. And on the back, looks like we can build Battle in the Canyons. An ambush in the forest, a desert attack, and an ice mountain chase. And it does come with this little map down here. So you got some desert area, some frozen area, and whatever this is in the middle here. And again, it comes with all the stuff here. So let's get this open and see what it's all about. Okay, so one of the things that you can see on the top here, if we turn this this way, says you can build these models in turn, which I'm guessing means you start here and you go this way and you can build them. So we have the KD-81 cargo skiff and the WTRT walker, the KD-81 cargo skiff and the ice speeder, and the separate separatist cannon and the V-19 torrent. Okay, so when we pull these out of here, we're gonna open this up like this. I'm gonna stick this right here for just a minute and lean it up against the wall. So in here, this is a set of all of the Lego bricks that we get. So there is a battlefield, that's pretty cool. So you can uh, build stuff on there. And then you also get this book here that says build your own adventure, battle for the stolen crystals. On the back it shows you the battle in the canyons, the ambush in the forest, the desert attack, the ice mountain chase. And inside is indeed a book that talks about the Clone Wars. These are really, really cool. So, these are all the different things you can do, and then it tells you how to build some of these things, like there is the V-19 torrent. So we are going to go ahead and put some of these together and uh, see what they are as soon as we get these Legos open. Okay guys, so inside we got a sticker sheet that we will leave for Abby to do so that she can have them. We get, I'm gonna move this off the camera real quick. We have this very nice play mat. That thing has teeth. Some of you may or may not know what that is. And anyways, we're gonna open this play mat up to reveal all of this. Really, really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and lay the play mat down on the ground here. And I will move you guys down so you can see it a little better. There we go. So you can see that we have the desert this area here, which is the forest, I guess, and this is over here is the frozen. We get this big bag of Legos. There are 189 pieces in it. It does. It is for ages seven and up. Let's go ahead and open this up and spill it all out right here. It's probably going to be hard to see. Then inside is another smaller bag of Legos, and inside that. There's another bag of Legos as well. So what we are going to do is open this book up and see there's a contents. Talks about the Clone Wars all the way down to continue the adventure. Okay. Talks about the Republic, the Sith Lords, the Separatists. And then we should have in here the Clone Commander Gree and the Commando Droids. Let's see if we can find those and get those put together. So for Commander Gree, and I'm trying to get these pieces where you guys can see them, but also see the mat at the same time. So you're gonna lose some of the desert there, guys, but there you go. And we'll put all these pieces in here. Okay, so we need to find these pieces here. This piece here, here is his leg. Here are his legs. And we're gonna add to it his body. Looks like that. Then we're gonna add his head on there. He looks really mad at the bad guys. And then we're gonna add his helmet, which is really cool. Looks like this. There is our clone commander Gree. 
I stick him on the road right there. It may not stand too well on this mat because it's not been flattened out yet. And then we're gonna build the droid, commando droid. These are gonna be his legs. Okay, and then we're going to add to him his body, if I can find it. Maybe. There's one of his hands, there's one of his hands, there's his head, there it is. Almost underneath the book. Okay, we're gonna take his body and we're going to stick it right here like this. Maybe, there. There's his body, okay. And then we're gonna take and add his arms to the sides, which are these things here. So we're gonna put them like this. They bend, they do not. And we're gonna put the other one over here like this. And then we're gonna put his head on him, which goes like this. Oh, and you know what? We forgot to give him a gun. So let's take this blaster gun and put it in Commander Gree's hand. So there he is. And then the droid commander also gets a gun and his gun is right here. It looks like it goes in that hand right there. So there he is, right there. I doubt if he stands up, we're gonna try. Oh, he's up for now. Okay, there are the two commanders. Now, when you go in through the book, there it talks about, I know it's hard to see now that I brought the camera up. Let's move you back up here so you can see. Okay, so you have the Battle of the Quon or Battle in the Canyons. And then we're going to go ahead and build this V19 torrent. So to do that, we need to take, and our people fell down, sorry. They're just gonna have to lay there. I'm gonna continue to move that. We're gonna take this piece, this big white piece here. It is a 24 piece white. We're gonna add to it a dark gray piece that looks like this. So it's only got one, uh, so let me move you guys back down again, I'm sorry. Okay, so it's got one circle in the middle. We put that right here in the middle on, the, on this side over here. Then we're gonna take two of these long pieces that look like this. They are 12 piece blocks. Put one there and one over here. And then we're going to put that down for just a second while we take this gray piece that looks like this. It's a four piece gray, has a tube running through it, okay? We're gonna take that and we're going to add these black pieces that look like this, they're rods. We're sticking them in the ends here and over here. Okay, and then we're going to take this dark gray piece that looks like this with a tube on it. We're gonna put one over here. And the same thing on the other side, like this. These platforms will now move around there, okay? Okay, up next we're going to take and spin this upside down like this, and then we're going to add it to the bottom of this right here, like that. Okay, uh, and then we're gonna take these pieces that look like uh, this. So they're white pieces. They got this little cutout crescent moon there. Big ramp, they got some pegs on the end. We're gonna go ahead and put one of them in right here on this side. And we're gonna put the other one over here on this side, like this. Okay, then we are going to turn the page in the book to complete the model. We're going to take these, uh, gr what are they, black? They are black, black circles that look like this. And we're gonna stick them in the tops here like this. And then one over here on this side like this. And then we're gonna take and add, okay, we're gonna take a gray piece that is a six, let's see here. There it is, just a six piece gray. We're gonna take it upside down right here in the center like this. And we're gonna stick it in here like that. Okay, up next we're gonna take and add a an L-shaped four piece that looks like this, or uh, I'm sorry, a two piece. Got two pegs here, it's got four pegs coming off the side. We're gonna hold it like this, and we're gonna add to that two white triangles that look like this. So those triangles are going to come off like this. So we're gonna put the high side where these pegs are coming off the side. And then we got another one right here. Like that. Okay, so there that is. And we're gonna take that whole thing and we're gonna stick that down on top of this right here. Like that. Okay, 
Up next, we're gonna take and add a maroon piece. It's a four piece maroon, here it is. We're gonna add it, we're gonna flip this back over and we're gonna add that maroon piece across here like that. Then we're gonna take these maroon pieces that look like grating. Okay, they got, you can see through them. We're gonna put them right up here like this and right here like this, okay? Then we're gonna take and add these gray pieces that look like this. They got two pegs with that little rod come, uh, holder off the side. We're gonna put them right here and one right next to it like this. Then we're gonna put the other one over here like this and like this. And then we're gonna take a two piece black, they're harder to see, and we're gonna put them next to those, one right there and one right there. Okay, up next we're gonna take and add a smooth white piece. It's two pegs long, there it is. Okay, we're gonna put that on this gray one right here, like that. Uh, actually we're not, that's not correct. I went to the wrong step, sorry guys. Doesn't work if you go in out of order. Uh, so we're gonna take this big thick four piece block, we're gonna take that and stick that down inside here like this first. Then we're gonna take and add to that a black, uh, here it is, and add a black one piece. It's got one peg right here, but it's got this, this tube on the end of it. We're gonna add that off the front of this piece here. And then we're gonna turn around and take a smooth white two, uh, two piece and put it right there in the center, followed up by a smooth two piece green piece right there. And now we're going to take and add a white triangular piece that looks like this. Okay, with the high side towards the back, we're gonna put one on either side of this thing here. So we got maybe small pieces. There we go. So we got one there and the other one is going to come off of this side here. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Up next, we're going to add these pieces that look like this. Okay, they're opposite hand of each other. We want to put them right here all the way up to this red. So that one goes up like that. The other one's going to be the opposite of that. So it's going to come up like this and spread out that way. Okay. Up next, we're gonna add a clear windshield. Uh, is that it? Yep, there it is. So it's translucent, smoky colored. Translucent windshield here. We're gonna take, we're gonna add that right on top of these black ones right here, like that. Uh-oh, we lost a black piece. Okay, get that back in there. All right, up next, we're going to turn the page again. Now we're going to build the central ring. So we're gonna stick that right there for just a second. We're gonna take this eight piece white, we're gonna put a four piece black on the back of it, like this. Then we're gonna put a two piece white with one peg in the center, down like this. Put another one, where is it at? Where is it at? There it is. Right, oops, I put it on backwards. It goes this way, and the other one goes this way, okay. Then we're gonna take two red piece, a two piece red that has a one peg in the center of it. We're gonna turn them this way across the black like this, and one like this. I'm gonna go ahead, guys. I don't know if this is causing any focusing issues or not. It might be. I'm gonna go ahead and move this mat out of the way. Just keep in mind that it does come with this awesome play mat that we can, uh, that we can play with. Maybe this will help so we can see things. All right, so here again is Commander Gree and the Commando Droid, and here's what we're building right now. There we go. Okay, on top of this now, we're gonna put a two-piece black. It goes right down the center, like that. Then we're gonna take a four-piece maroon piece, put it right on top of that, like that. Then we're gonna put a this big tower white piece that looks like this, okay? We're gonna stick that right on the front, right there. And then we're gonna put a thick three-piece white, looks like this, right off the back, just like that. All right, up next we're gonna take this really thick two-piece block, white block, and we'll stick it right here. Then we're gonna take a thick one-piece maroon block, 
stick it on the back here. Then we're gonna take another one and stick it on top of that. So there we go. All right, then we're gonna take a dark gray one piece block. It looks like this. It's got a hole in it. We're gonna stick it on the top here with the hole going front to back. Then we're gonna put a thick two piece light gray. Looks like this, right in front of that. And then we're gonna put a, another one of those dark gray two or one piece blocks with a hole in it. And then we want the hole to face out towards the front. So it looks like this. Okay. All right, up next, we're going to take and add a, another one of these thick, really thick two piece white blocks. We're gonna stick it up there. Then we're gonna take this one here that kind of matches it and it's got a slope off the front. Then we're gonna take a smooth three piece maroon, stick that there. And that is really tall and really thin, so. All right, up next we're gonna take and add these discs that look like this. They are dark gray discs. We're gonna add one right here in the front there. And we're gonna add one to the back over here. And then we're going to take and add a translucent blue one that looks like this. We're gonna add that to the front there of that one. All right, and then we're gonna take that whole apparatus and we're gonna put it in here like this, squeeze down. And that is most of it. We still got the left wing and the right wing. But that thing, oh no, that's just the central wing that moves like this. Cool. All right, let's set that down and let's build the left wing. Okay, so to build the left wing, we're gonna start with a six piece gray. We're gonna put a white two piece block coming off the back of it that has two hooks on it, like that. Then we're gonna put an eight white piece white piece right there. Then we're gonna add two more of these dark gray pieces that look like this. Okay, they got four pegs there, and then they got a big tube coming through them, but they're only halfway. The tube only goes halfway across so that we can build onto the side. So we're gonna put two of them, or one of them right there. Then we're gonna take the other one, and put it on the other side, like this. That way, it forms a tube in there, okay? All right, then we're gonna take two of these blue pieces that are common for tires and things. Take those and stick them in the ends here, so we got one there. And we're gonna have one over here. This though, you got a cross coming off the other end here on both sides, we want those out. Okay, then we're gonna take and add to this, <clears throat> this really long white piece here, right on the front, like that. Then we're gonna add these two wings, or this wing off the side now. This big long wing here, let's see. Um, I think I'm just gonna hold it there for now. So we're just gonna hold that big wing there like that for now. And then what we're gonna do is take an eight piece maroon piece and we're gonna stick it over the top of it like that. Okay, so there is part of our wing. All right, next up we're gonna take a smooth three piece maroon and put it right there. And then we're gonna take a piece of grating maroon piece and stick it right there. Okay, next we're gonna take and add a, let's see here. And I didn't put that quite on right, guys. Let me pull that back off real quick. Okay, so we had to back up a little bit because I misaligned this first piece. So this big long one here actually comes on over to the side. Then this part of this wing goes in here like that. Now we have a nice solid surface. Then we're gonna take this maroon piece right here. We're gonna go ahead and stick it right on top of there. Four on the gray and four on the white. Then we're gonna take the smooth three piece maroon right there, and the maroon grating piece that goes right, oops, it's upside down, right there. So there's what we're looking for. Then we're gonna take and add to that these triangular dark gray pieces that look like this. So they are a triangle, but they are two piece wide. We're gonna put one on the front here, and we're gonna put one right next to it, over here. And then we're gonna put a smooth four piece dark gray right there. Okay, then we're gonna take and add these black pieces to the back that have, they are one piece black, have a hook on them. Okay, and the hook is gonna go in here just like this. Put one up here like that. 
one, oops, and one over here like this. Turn that like that, make sure this is all still together. Square them up, maybe, there we go. And the hooks are gonna be in there like that. Okay, we're gonna set that down for just a quick second. We're gonna take this blue piece that looks like this, it's a little disc, okay? We're gonna take and add to that a really thick four piece black circle on top of it. We're gonna add another one of those right on top of that. Okay, and then we're gonna add a really uh, dark gray four piece circle right on top of here like this. So this is what we have. And we're gonna take that and we're gonna add that to this side over here, like that, okay? Then we're gonna take and build a dark gray piece that looks like this, it's a four piece circle. We're gonna add a little, a thinner four piece dark gray circle to it, like this. And we're gonna take that one and stick it on this side over here through that cross, like that, okay? Then we're gonna take and turn this upside down like this. We're going to add a three-piece white block to the end up here to help stabilize this. Good. And then we're gonna take a two-piece white block and put it right here on the very front, way down here. Okay, then we're gonna turn it back around like this. We're gonna grab this big, thick black rod and we're gonna to add to it a black cone that looks like this. Stick the cone on the end like this, okay? And then we're gonna take and we're gonna add that inside here like that into those hooks. So there is our left wing. We're gonna take this, hold it like this, push it in right here, and there's one of our wings. Well, this is really big. <laughs> it was a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So, set that down again, and now we have to build the right wing. A lot of the very similar things, just opposite hands, so we're gonna go through this a little bit faster. We're gonna take a six piece uh, gray block. We're gonna add a white two piece block with two hooks onto the back of it. Then we're gonna follow that up with a, an eight piece white right there. We're gonna add the two dark gray pieces that have these little cylinders on the bottom of them. One right there and one right here like this. <clears throat> Okay, then we're gonna add to that these blue pieces in here that form like you would add tires to on some of the other Legos with the crosses out. Okay, and then we're gonna add to it the white pieces, the big white pieces this time. This one's gonna go on this side and this one's gonna go on this side over here. All right, then we're gonna add to that a maroon eight piece. It's gonna cover the four of the gray and four on the white. We're gonna add a three piece smooth maroon one over here on this side and we're going to add a, a gray sorry a grating piece two feet of a maroon there on that side we're going to add these dark gray triangles where are they at uh-oh i need two of them oh there's one so there's one of them let's put that one in here and then let's see if we can find the other one real quick I don't see, oh, there it is, okay. So we're gonna put that one in here like this. All right, then we're gonna add to that a smooth four-piece dark gray right on top of here like this. We're gonna add to the, the two black pieces on the end that have hooks in them for the rod to go through it. So we're gonna put that one in right there. And then the other one right here like this. Okay, so we're gonna set that down for just a second. We're gonna grab this blue disc again. We put these really thick four piece uh, black circles on, one there, put another one on top of it. Throw a dark gray cylinder on top of that. Add that to this side over here, like that. And then we're going to take a dark gray and add another thin light gray, or dark gray to it, and we're gonna spin it and put it on this side over here, okay? Then we're gonna take, flip it over, add a two-piece white to the back, like this, add a three-piece white to the front to help stabilize. Okay, oh, that did not go in. There we go. Then we're gonna take another one of these big, long black rods, put a cone on the end of it, like so. 
and then put it in here like this. And they're not st quite straight on the front, but we're gonna make it work. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna take that whole thing and we're gonna add it to this side over here. Wow. So then we take and we flip this this way, like this. Push these wings down like this. And there is our V19 Torrent. Pretty cool. Really, really cool, actually. A lot bigger and better than I thought it was going to be. Um, these are actually pretty complicated, so I'm, I assume that we're going to be building these um, one at a time. So I thought these were going to be really small, fast little things. They're actually a whole Lego project, guys, and there is your V19 Torrent. So what do you guys think? We actually have, like I said, we have four books of these things to do. There are going to be approximately six in each one of them that we can build. We're going to go through them step by step throughout the whole thing, but we do have, this one is the Star Wars version. We also have a Lego Ninjago version, a uh, Disney Princess version, and we have a DC Super Heroes version. So we will be putting all of these together for you, but these are really cool. What do you guys think? If you would, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. Also, guys, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Your support means everything to us. As always, have fun. Thanks for living in my world, and we will see you next time.